Hey, what's up, guys? This is Dave here from DroidInsider.com. I'm going to do a review of the D3RP1 ROM for the HTC Sprint. Uh, this ROM comes out, it's, uh, it works pretty well. I uh, found a couple key features about this ROM that picks it out from the others. Um, just the starting up, it's 3x3 three three here. I left everything the way that it was after installing, that way you guys can kind of see. Uh, home's going to take you over here, unless you said otherwise. First two screens are blank. Pulled down is completely black. Um, I put that auto up there, actually, so that's not normally there. Uh, you're, so no quick settings at first. Uh, pull this up. You got it in custom. Get in alphabetical so we can really see more of the things. And change it to 4x5. Usually uh, they come 4x5 or 5x6. Uh, this is going to give us uh, only 4x5 as the other option, which is fine. Um, you can see it comes with D3P wallpapers. Uh, this is one of the first ROMs I reviewed that uh, has the wallpapers. Let's see here. Under our personalized wallpapers, you'll have a D3P, D3 RP. So, and there's a bunch. There's not just a few, but as you can see here on the bottom, a bunch. And I haven't gone over the uh, default wallpapers, but these are um, the same as the uh, other ROM. So something you might notice uh, as I'm flipping through here is on the uh, my other uh, reviews of the Evo 3D and 4G LTE, they, uh, the wallpapers didn't load that quickly. So you can see that uh, quad core processor working there. Um, <clears throat> as far as the programs here, there's your wallpapers. It takes you to the same setting there. Uh, the setup works fine uh, when setting up this phone. Let's see what else we got here. We got notification toggle and it's got notes. Notification toggle, that's where I got my brightness from. You can turn that off and you can see that disappeared from there. It's immediate, no need to reset. So you can play around with it, turn on a couple things, see what they uh, they look like. Um, it's got quite a few options. Now, under the notification toggles, you also see that you can pull over to uh, the welcome, uh, custom maps, more options, and it gets frequently asked questions here, which is kind of convenient for uh, some problems you might have. All right, so what else? We got the uh, power menu, which you can go there and see the power menu, or you can just hold the power button. Uh, something I didn't install was, uh, let me see if they got titanium. They do not have titanium backup on here. But I was going to do a Linpack test. As you can see here on the uh, Linpack, um, that's a pretty good 694. Um, getting some fairly high scores. I did get up to 780 on here. Uh, this is running the uh, MicMic um, kernel which is overclocking it to uh, 1.9 um, and I did the quadrant to so you can see I got 12,504 that's a pretty good score usually the second time you run it you can get a little bit higher than that so that's the uh, the ROM uh, let me know what you guys think what you guys uh, might like to see in the next videos um, As far as the camera itself, uh, I didn't notice anything on the forums that uh, pulled that said anything about the camera itself having anything special to it. So seems to be all the uh, the normal camera settings. So if you guys have any questions, please leave a comment. Uh, always like the. Uh, uh, the comments, uh, don't forget to subscribe, uh, more videos coming out, and, uh, always like the, uh, like buttons if you guys get